everyone, it's Anne from Anne Ellis Angels and I'm here with your card readings for the coming week. These are general readings, so take from them everything that resonates with you, leave behind anything else, but most importantly, enjoy a really positive week. I'll be using my teacup tarot deck and later on, I will clarify with my Time to Shine deck. Gemini, we are looking at your cards here for the week starting the 26th of June from the Teacup Tarot deck. And your overall energy, the Nine of Wands, says stay focused, stay determined and stay motivated. Don't give up. This card says, yes, you can. It's the card of persistence and determination. Your help or your hurdle, the Emperor card steps in and says, time to get organised with a detailed plan. This is planning, this is organisation. At the moment's notice, the Emperor is ready to go. And the reason for that is that everything's planned in advance and everything is ready. And that's just what you need to be focusing on this week. Teamwork can help you do that. The three of coins is all about teamwork, working together, everybody bringing their little bit of expertise to the team, working creatively for the benefit of everybody else. So working together with other people is key. How can we help ourselves? A page of wands shows up. Now you've got two pages here and the pages are messengers bringing in information for you. The Page of Wands brings in messages of new opportunity, positive change, news, new ideas, possibly creative projects. So stay awake and listen out for this information coming in. The Page of Coins says, when you've got your information, do your homework. This is the card of research. This is the card of study. Very often the page of coins has a book on the card because she's learning. So that's key mindfulness for you this week. Do the study, do the research and gather your information. And your final outcome card, the Queen of Pencils shows up. Now this is very much a card like a spring cleaning. The Queen of Pencils has no hesitation whatsoever of getting rid of anything that no longer works for her, no longer serves her, and she has no hesitation in moving on from it, getting rid of it so she can welcome in the new. So just looking at your tarot cards overall, Keep going, stay motivated, stay focused, get organised and make your plans, but do the research first. When these new opportunities come in, these news and these new ideas, get to work on those. You don't have to do it on your own. Gather your team together and do it as a team and be ready to get rid of anything that isn't working, isn't serving you, so that you can move forward with the new. So it's very much out with the old and in with the new. The Nine of Life says take some time out this week to enjoy some little luxuries. This is from the Time to Shine deck. This is you reaping the rewards of your hard work and taking a little bit of time out just for you. The Ten of Emotion is about happy, contented family life, loving and rewarding relationships. It's the Happy Ever After card. It's absolutely lovely. Dreams fulfilled, joy and happiness are here for you. The Seven of Life says, do the groundwork, do your homework, start working on those new ideas here and then no need to worry. The Results and the success will follow in divine and appropriate timing. And on the card, look, she's planted these little seedlings. 
and be able to see those. But she can't make them grow any faster. So she's just got to water them and look after them and know that the beautiful flowers will flower in their own good time. But she has to plant the seeds in the first place. So that's getting down, taking those first action steps. How can we help ourselves? So we've got the Seven of Wisdom. This is the Emperor card. This is your movement forward, but you're asked to do so with balance and with discipline. So no rushed decisions, no rash decisions. But it is a move forward just the same after things might have felt a little bit stuck. The Seven of Action says you might need to stand up for yourself. Think your choices through with care, choose your battles wisely, but, and, be assertive. You have a voice, you can be heard. And if you're assertive and kind at the same time, that will work really well. And the four of thought says, pause, make decisions later, talk things over, meditate and rest. So it's important when you get this news this week and you've done all your research to take your time, talk it over before making your move forward. You're going to have to get your plans in place, get organised. Know that the happiness is waiting for you. You're not doing this on your own because the teamwork is here. And the happiness and the success is also here for you. But you need to do the homework first, talk it over, get your plan together, leave behind anything that isn't working and then your positive movement forward towards joy and fulfilment. So I hope you've enjoyed the reading. If you have, click that subscribe button. It's free. Thank you for doing that. It makes a huge difference to me. And then you'll get notified when I do the next reading for you as well. So take care now and I'll see you soon.